Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Witchery Brews. Today we're covering the first half of level 5, and we're getting into a bit of things that are quite evil. Stick around, and everything will play by itself. Otherwise, you can just choose what's on the screen. So to start off with, we're really actually getting into something quite evil. You're going to need refined evil for Inferno. This one here, it's a little bit dangerous. Creatures under the effect will burn other creatures nearby as a ritual. This may summon a demon if the correct circles are used. So if you use it in a ritual, you'll be summoning demons, but we're not going to be doing that. We're using it as a brew. So with Inferno, the more power you have, the faster and the more often ignition happens of creatures around the target that's affected. Area of effect just gives you a bigger splash radius when you throw this down. Now, what this means is uh, the target you're hitting isn't really going to be affected by this. Now, they're going to have the particles on them, but only when creatures get within like a block, block and a half, will they start getting hit by this flame effect. Now, I'm in creative or else I'd be burning alive right now. But uh, you can see that I'm eh, within about a block and a half, two blocks, you know, and uh, it will set me on fire. Now, if I toss this here, let's get this guy here, you can see... Whoop, I got affected by that one. Whoopsie. <laughs> what I meant to do was just give this guy splash, or give him the, the number four effect. And when I get closer, you'll see I am getting hit much more frequently with this. So it will set targets on fire. Now, if I push these guys close to each other, well, bad things are going to happen. They'll start setting each other on fire. Uh, Basically, it's it can be dangerous in large areas because then when critters start running around, especially if you have a, a, a gas brew where these guys are affected by it, uh, you could see somebody's entire livestock just set each other on fire. It, it can be uh, quite devastating in an enclosed area. But then as they run close to each other, they set each other on fire and it then that one runs into the gas cloud and continues on. It can be quite effective. But... Uh, Refined evil is a rather expensive and difficult ingredient, so I don't really see this getting a lot of use unless the uh, players really, you know, want to do this. Uh, so it can be specialized, it can have its uses, but uh, there you go, Inferno. Next up we have Blast. This one here is rather simple and straightforward. The more power, the more damage, and the bigger the blast it is. It's kind of like miniature to larger TNT, uh, but you're instead using, well, gold bars. So let me grab a couple of these here. Uh, I grab a gas brew, a splash brew, and we're going to grab a big splash brew and a little splash brew. This one has some different effects on it depending on the levels that it is. So that's why I've got so many different ones. Now this one here is level one. Uh, the area is just going to affect, you know, any targets that are splashed by it. That's about it. Uh, so if I throw these level 1s down, it causes some explosions. But you can see there's no damage there. In fact, let's... let's that, that, that cow is tanking like a boss there. So it, <laughs> level 1s aren't actually going to do any damage. Um, but level... Two is going to do a little bit of damage, and you can see it in the terrain that it actually will destroy. So when you throw it on a, a target, there we go, it will hit them and launch them into the sky in the process. If I can even hit them, there we go. So it, it's quite effective. Uh, rather damaging, uh, does quite a bit to the target in question. And then if I move up to a level 4, obviously it's going to be uh, an explosion area about that of like a TNT. And it will affect, of course, creatures nearby. Uh, not as much of a launch in the air on this one. I mean, you'll get sometimes you'll get it depending if you hit the creature exactly and there's nothing above them. Uh, but yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, and then you've got your gas brute, which, you know, you toss that down. And it's kind of a delayed effect. The creatures then have to kind of, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot, in water it's gas brews, not so good. But it, if you, you wait over time, anything that kind of walks into it will be affected and they may blow up. You know, it's, it just takes a little bit. There you go. You know, so it's kind of like a delayed blast. Uh, but it, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it can be rather interesting. So uh, there you go. Okay. 
Now we're getting into the really, truly amazing stuff right here. Poison Toad. This has become one of my uh, new favorite potions here, or brews rather. Uh, so the more, basically Poison Toad is it summons a toad into the world, which then will uh, over time expire. And when it expires, it sends out a little area of uh, poison around it. And regardless of the, um, the area effect, you can increase the range and stuff like that. That's not going to increase its poison field. Uh, instead, it will increase the number of toads. So in this one, power, it, it doesn't, it actually is kind of detrimental. If you want the toads to explode, you don't want a high power. You want a low power. Uh, so <laughs> therefore, you you, uh, you you don't even want to put anything in for power. Uh, but the area of effect, you want to max out because the more area, the more toads are likely to spawn, at least in a splash po uh, potion. So let's get a uh, splash like a level one. Uh, we'll get the high level one here, and then we'll also get the uh, gas brew, which is... <laughs> Oh my god. All right, so th this can be very trolly. So you have to you have to be very cautious about this. But um all right, let's let's toss a brew down here and you'll see it it brings a, a toad into the world and he expires. The end, right? And then we we've got a bigger splash one here which may launch multiple toads into an area. There we go. See on that one I got two toads. So it's it's not really guaranteed. And then they will explode and give you like a couple seconds of uh, poison it's not really that effective uh, but in a gas brew it can be so harsh especially if you toss it on like livestock or players and they say you see it's it's just constantly spawning toads on this guy blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh my gosh luckily the toads don't uh also cause more to oh i guess they do cause more toad spawns <laughs> so you can see it's like this never ending toad storm uh in a gas brew so if you really extend that gas brew oh and they're so loud they're so loud too if you extend that gas brew it can really stick around for a while and uh, you could just throw this at somebody's livestock area oh oh it could really just cause havoc and hatred amongst your friends uh, and, and, and that's all I'm going to cover for the uh, stuff going on today, uh, but we are going to get into my new potion here, my, my new brew, Valen's Brew of Fallout. That's right, this is, uh, well, more or less probably going to crash your game, but... <laughs> it's so worth it. All right, uh, so your, your witch's brew, you're, you're going to be using the new, the new Poison Toad spell, plus volatility in a gas brew. How awesome is that? Okay, for those that are not following along, you will see shortly how amazing this can be. So first, let's go over the recipe on this. Now, we're combining a level four, or a level four, which is a uh, volatility brew, and a level five spell. So we, we need quite a bit. We need nine uh, capacity. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, ready? And so it's gonna be Mandrake, Netherwart, Tear the Goddess, diamond vapor a diamond then you don't actually have to have these uh, as, as much as you you have to but uh, I do actually recommend having longer duration poison toads in this case this makes for it much more interesting but uh, uh, glowstone a uh, uh, blaze rod and of course optional is going to be the uh, charged attuned stones you don't have to have those you know it, it they're entirely optional for you uh, then of course your sunflower which is you know just part of the poison toad spell yeah. then you continue back down here glowstone blaze rod and of course your optional uh, charged attuned stone and your dead bush for volatility and what this makes is ex your toads who are causing poison on exploding will also be affected by volatility in a gas cloud so therefore they will start exploding upon taking any damage well as soon as the first toad explodes guess what happens that's right death but moving on we have wood ash coca beans belladonna and lapis because we want a larger area and we want it to stick around for a while you bottle it up and get valens brew of fallout now let's get into the testing so I already have a brew here, and you can see that there are plenty of subjects 
lazing about in the fields. So let, let's pick a nice little area here and splash there. And there we go. Shouldn't be too long now. Oh, and you can see the, the frogs are starting to spawn in. Oh, and then they're going to start spawning on top of each other as well. It's just not... And here I am back again. <laughs> so as you can see, it's rather effective. There's a lot of explosions that go on all at once. Everything dies that's in the radius. It's it's just, it's very powerful, very dangerous. Oh my God, how amazing is this? All right, so, so there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's little video. Uh, we've got another video on level fives coming up soon. So uh, stick around and we'll get into some more mischief. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.